typically using two different types of bite registration material for my indirectly fabricated restorations. Now the first one is the polyvinyl siloxane material like Obite from DMG. I'm utilizing this for my one or two unit everyday restorations. And the reason I'm utilizing this is because it, it sets up quickly in a minute and a half. It's easy to get in and out of undercuts and I can use a scalpel to quickly trim away any excess and send it all off to the lab. It has a shore hardness of about 93, so it gives me a really good level of accuracy when I'm utilizing this to mount my models together. Now on the other hand, for my larger smile design cases or full mouth rehabilitations, I'm typically using something that has a higher degree of accuracy. So for this, I'm using something like the Luxabite by DMG. Now this is a bisacryl material. So there's no compression on mounting like you can get with a polyvinyl material. It's very rigid, there's no sponginess to it. And so because of that, it has a very high degree of accuracy. But you gotta be careful in utilizing this because if you get it in undercuts, it won't come out. You'll have to actually cut it away. So for larger cases, when you're wanting that high degree of accuracy, this is the material I would typically utilize. Now it's set times about three minutes compared to the minute and a half of the Obite. And so you're gonna wait just a little bit longer, but you're going for that high level of accuracy as to why you're utilizing this for your bigger cases. And so trimming this material, you're gonna actually use a diamond burr to trim it as compared to a scalpel. So high degree of accuracy for your bigger cases versus something that's a little quicker and easier, but still offers a, a great deal of accuracy in something like the polyvinyl. Uh, so we have two different materials that we utilize on a regular basis here in my practice.